Caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's disease or related dementia is very challenging. Many times feels like being on a journey without a roadmap. I'm Todd Shutter, one of the partners of Active Care Residential Memory Care, and I want you to know you're not alone. After the diagnosis, there's many times a lot of questions and concerns. Am I able to provide the care that's needed for my loved one at home? Am I prepared to be a hands-on caregiver 24 hours a day, seven days a week? And how will I provide that quality of care at home? Where do I go? Who do I ask? We thought it would be helpful if we shared some stories from family caregivers just like you who have already been down that road and on that journey. You'll hear from Mr. Roy Maples who reluctantly made the decision to place his wife in active care and then came to realize it was probably one of the best decisions he's made in his life. Gay Wood, who placed her mother in active care, initially wanted to care for her at home and then decided that probably wasn't the best decision for their family. Colleen Rosati will share some of the other challenges from family members just like you. It, it happened about, uh, I'd say about 11, 12 years ago. I noticed that she had misplaced things and looked for things, you know. And then it progressed to where she would get up in the middle of the night and get out of the house and I couldn't sleep. And I talked to my children about it and they said, well, Dad, we can uh, put locks on the doors. I said, well, I don't think that's a good idea. What if there was a fire in the house? How would we get out? And later on, it, it just got to the point where I wasn't sleeping at night. And that's when my children decided I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I was against it. That was one of the hardest decisions I ever made in my life, is to put her here. But I know to a fact, for a fact, that if I hadn't put her here, I'd be looking at the downside of the grass right now. Placing a family member is very difficult on the family members that we do talk to. Um, they do feel guilty. Uh, they feel like they've not been able to do it on their own. And we let them know, here you can leave your loved one and you can become the daughter again. You can be the husband again. Let us take care of them. Go out there, take care of yourself, but bring them lunch and take them to a movie. It, it's okay and you will now not have that role reversal that you were having at home in making that decision to move mom here, when you realize that you are not going to be uh, able to give the person who is um, in need of exceptional care, it's not just love that's going to be able to take them through this. And prior to this, um, it was our intention, my husband's and mine, to actually move both of my parents in with us. We thought that it would be a wonderful situation given the home that we had. They would have been able to have had their, uh, their own quarters, if you will. And as such, once this diagnosis became available, uh, or w once she was diagnosed with the Alzheimer's, she needed that additional care. She still knew us, but the, the mood swings, even with medication, were very difficult. Each resident is different, so they require a different type of personalization. There's going to be some who would much rather read or some that would much rather, you know, play ball or garden. And so they're allowed to do that. This is their home, what they're used to. We want, one thing we don't want to do is interrupt their schedule. So I say to the family members, do they have a scoop of vanilla ice cream with an Oreo, Oreo on top of it every night? That's what we want, need to continue to do. We don't want to change their schedule. We don't want them to sit in front of a TV, but we, we want them to resume their normal life, just in a different location. Active Care is a proven residential memory care program dedicated to enhancing life for those with memory loss. 
Since 1988, Active Care Communities have provided compassionate care for more than 4,000 residents with Alzheimer's disease or related dementias. Recently, our company's founder, W. Major Chance, had the opportunity to sit down with Roger and Cindy Hedgecock. Roger's a radio personality and Cindy's mother was an active care resident. As you mentioned, caring for someone's parents, friends, uh, this is a really trying situation. Uh, right. and, 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 how do you handle that? Well, the first thing we tried to do is to let the families know that we're a partner with them. You know, we don't, we don't, this is not a purely an institutional setting where you bring your family in and just park them. You know, we want family involvement. We want, as Cindy did, to come in and visit with her mom, but let, let her know that we're there to help her, both of you, help you, and, so that you weren't having to do what we call the heavy lifting as it relates to the day-to-day -day chore of caring for them. Because as you know, it's a very trying experience. You know, it's a 724. I mean, I had, an, even in my own family, I had an uncle who lived in Palm Beach, Florida, and he just wouldn't avail himself of the services of a facility like ours. He would bungee cord the front doors shut to keep Mary from walking out the door, you know? And I would sit down with Richard and I'd say, Richard, come on. And, he, and we'd bring our assessment nurses in. He didn't want anything to do with it. He wanted to keep Mary at home. He just wouldn't deal with you know, what was really best for Mary and best for himself. You made the choice, Cindy, to bring your mom to active care. Well, it was a transition, really, Major. It, it was, um, when my father passed away, she moved into an independent living facility, which she loved. My mother was an artist, and uh, her surroundings were very important to her, and as the disease progressed or became more apparent, and I, yes, was in denial, <laughs> um, I moved her into an assisted living facility, which turned out to be absolutely the wrong decision. They did not understand memory loss or Alzheimer's, and she was miserable there. And so when I discovered um, active care through a lot of searches, I visited a lot of facilities, but active care was um, a place where they had a one-way mirror so that I could actually watch the interaction of my mother with the other residents and the, and the caregivers. And that was very reassuring to me, and the support groups, and, and seeing that I wasn't alone and other people had the similar problems and difficulties. Um, keeping her at home wasn't, a, wasn't an option for us. She needed to be in a 24-hour facility. And she did not have um, severe Alzheimer's. She knew who I was to the end, and her family. She liked being with us. And the visitation, the garden, the environment of the whole facility was wonderful for her. We just held her as close as we could. And that was the great thing about Active Care, too, because we took her out and took her on family excursions. It wasn't like she was sequestered someplace. So she was part of the family here, and she was comfortable there at Active Care. And I think it helped those last few years for all of us. Well, that's the whole purpose of the program, to establish an environment where families feel comfortable coming in. You don't say, oh, my God, I'm going to one of those places, you know. You can come in. You can interact with your family. You can take her anytime you like. And, uh, and, and, and that's part of the whole program. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's an extension of your family. You know that you don't have to worry about the 724 aspects of it, but you can enjoy your mother as you remembered her. And that was a, that's a critical part of the whole program. And that's the message that we try to get out to the community. Well, the other message was the, the confidence that I felt watching as they interacted, but also knowing that you understood what was going on with her um, where the assisted living did not and they treated her so gently. They really liked her. Um, it, it was obvious that the caregivers enjoyed interacting with these patients. It wasn't just a job. They like it. The caregivers actually like the fact that we personalize the care because each resident that they have that they are caring for, they do a different thing with. So if you know, there's a particular resident who loves to garden, they get to garden for a little while during that day. If there's a particular resident who loves to dance, they get to dance for a little bit each day. Uh, if there's somebody who just likes to talk or read, they get to do that every day. So it makes it non, it, there's no day that's redundant in this facility. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that the life that this person has has the quality that they deserve to have. And if you cannot provide that, you best look to professionals. It was the greatest decision I ever made in my life. I know she's happy. She's safe. She takes her medicine regularly. 
They do everything for her right here. And I wouldn't have it there in place else. That's from here. At Active Care, we understand the challenges and the difficulties you face on your caregiver journey. We also understand how difficult it is to make a decision to place a loved one. We invite you to visit an active care community to learn more about our commitment to enhancing life for those with memory loss. We can help. Contact us today.